hello welcome back to my channel i'm dory so jagged and my one word is due so there's been a lot of crisis that has been going on since my last video about how you don't need hcp as hcpc as a sonographer so so i have to do this video to like renew some other points so the point that i want to make is it's very clear hcpc is for radiographers right now if you go to hcpc the website yeah you see the professions that they regulate do you see sonographer there please i'll wait you don't right you don't but you have radiographers right you have radiographers now who are radiographers radiographers are professionals who practice radiographic imaging techniques yeah practice radiographic imaging techniques now this does not mean that somebody who studied radiography could not later on in life want to practice sonography and study for that okay now they will be registered with with hcpc as a radiographer not as a sonographer but now they have hcpc as their indemnity body does that make sense it should make sense to you it's the same thing with medical doctors who practice sonography right who perform ultrasounds they are registered with mmc is it what with g general medical council gmc right they are registered with gmc that's their indemnity body right before later on in their life in the future they decide that no they want to look for jobs as sonographers okay but as they are medical doctors they will need to be registered with a body that regulates medical doctors with the gmc so it's the same thing with radiographers so as at now, there is no sonographers within the professions that HCPC regulates. It's not within the professional council for HCPC. It's not. So what does this mean for sonographers? Let me tell you what I was told. HCPC is a priority, but it's not a must for sonographers. Yeah, because as at now, there is no legal obligation as a sonographer to be registered because there is no body for them to be registered with. But there are other ways to go around, right? There are other ways because normally as a professional, you need to be part of an organization. You need an indemnity body. Like, you need an organization that will back you. The same like what, what you have in your country, whatever organization that you have in your country, right? You normally should be as a professional you should be part of a body if you don't have one create one okay so now my points that I'm, i've been trying to make over and over and over and over yeah <laughs> all right let me let me let me read out something for you i want to read out something right now i'm sure this will help okay Okay, this I'm reading this from the British Medical Ostrosound Society, which I'm a member of. This is just a society that will help with a continuous professional development. It's not a regulatory body. So the difference there. Okay, now this is where I'm getting my resource from. So I'll read it to you. All right, under qualifications, it says... There is no legal requirement to hold a recognized ultrasound qualification in order to practice in the UK. Yeah? There is no legal requirement to hold a recognized ultrasound qualification in order to practice as a sonographer in the UK. Most hospital departments, however, will not consider offering employment as a sonographer to an individual who does not hold a postgraduate certificate, a diploma, or a medical ultrasound qualification okay as a sonographer so radiographers who are registered with the hcpc that are having job opportunities or working as sonographers they have either postgraduate certificates or a qualification as 
a sonographer or a training in ultrasound. So your yeah, hospital or a, an employer will not give a sonography job to anyone who does not have a qualification for that. But there is no legal qualification. There's nothing that says like, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. But there are training programs for that. The point is, as sonography is not recognized by HCPC, you cannot register as a sonographer with HCPC. But you can register as a radiographer with HCPC. And as a radiographer, you can later on in your life practice sonography. Or you could be a radiographer that is practicing sonography. You have had all your experience in sonography and you have training for sonography. Training for ultrasound. Yeah? Okay. So there is no possibility of an individual practicing as a sonographer to be statutory registered with HCPC. Do you understand? The word things are very important. No. Don't go and quote me wrong anywhere. Listen to the words that I'm using. I'm choosing them very carefully. So an individual who holds a radiographic qualification recognized by HCPC are legally required to register with HCPC. Right? So if you are a radiographer, you are legally required to register with HCPC. But if you are a sonographer, you have your BSc sonography, you have your undergraduate in sonography, sonographer is not part of the professions under HCPC. Okay. Let's continue. So there is no statutory registered sonographer with HCPC. Okay, but you can have a radiographer which is registered with the HCPC and practicing as a sonographer. Okay. All right, let's see. However, it is recommended that you have an appropriate indemnity, yeah, for insurance should be arranged, right? So it's, it's important that you have an appropriate indemnity for insurance arranged either through your employer or through an appropriate regulatory body, right? So the regulatory bodies that are available that you could look into as a professional, but there is no one that is legal as at right now for the UK to practice as a sonographer. Now, a body that you could look into as a sonographer is the voluntary register for sonographers, okay? The voluntary register for sonographers. Now, what is the voluntary register for sonographers? The Voluntary Register of Sonographers was formerly known as the RCT, so that's the Registered Clinical Technologies, okay? Which now is under RCT, <laughs> yes, it's part of RCT, Registered Clinical Technologies, yeah? So they develop a register for sonographers that you could register and it could help you as part of your indemnity body. But how to go about this registration? Here we go. So to get registered with this, normally there are courses that will lead directly to the registry with with them, or their ultrasound is known as case cause what 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 I've forgotten that name. But there are case case courses right that you could take in the UK that um they are recognized by the Society of Radiology, right? As good, as qualified courses that will qualify you as a sonographer. <laughs> Let's not go to big grammar. So this, this is something that you can look into. You can look into RCT. You can look into the, the voluntary register for sonographers. You can also look into taking one, any of these courses, any postgraduate course in, in uh, ultrasound, it will qualify you to practice. Employers will be more willing to let you practice. So if you are abroad, right, if you're out of the UK and you've been trying to practice in the UK and applying for jobs and it's been difficult for you, consider applying for an MSc in ultrasound. Most of your selector will be good for you. Consider, ultras consider ult ultrasound postgraduate studies. After that, it will be very easy for you to get a job in the UK and practice and any other country 
basically like seriously so that way is easier but if you are you have if your bsc in radiography then please go for your acpc okay and then you can now practice right as a sonographer and then you have your indemnity body as acpc okay does that make sense please don't be confused so if you're a medical doctor who wants to practice as a sonographer you have to register with gmc Okay, if you are a radiographer, you have to register with ACPC. But if you are a sonographer from from that's from your BSc, from your diploma, from all your educational level, you are a sonographer. There is no legal requirement for you to register. As at now, sonographer is not within the professions for ACPC. Is that okay? Does that make any sense? If you have any other questions, please just leave your comment down below, and I'll get back to it. So as of now, feel free to apply directly to NHS Trust. If you feel that you are qualified sonographer, apply directly to the NHS Trust. Now, something I want to touch on too is that you cannot apply if you are from a red zone country. Yeah? You cannot apply directly. Yes, yeah, since you're coming. You cannot apply directly to a recruiter. Right? You cannot apply with a recruitment agency. But you can apply directly to the trust or to the employer. So recruiters cannot recruit from red zone countries. But you as an individual who has decided that your professional level as at now, you want to progress and practice in an advanced setting. You want to work with a team. You want to work with brilliant sonographers from all over the world. You want to experience your profession in a different geographical location. You as an individual can apply to an employer, but not to recruiters because they will simply tell you, following it, blah, 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 blah. We cannot follow up in this process right now because you are from a red zone country. Yeah? I've read a lot of those emails. So, but you can apply directly to the employer as an individual. So feel free to apply directly. You do not need to be registered, right? If you are from a complete sonography background, you are practicing sonography, you have your education in sonography, there is no registration for you as at now in the UK. You could try that route and apply directly to employers. Or you could go through the study routes and take an MSc in ultrasound and you get a job like now. <laughs> like now you get a job or you could just like stroll to Australia, New Zealand and get a job there. It's cool. All right. I hope that was helpful to all my sonographers out there. So I'm just trying to like share this information as I go because I am myself. I've gone through the HCPC and uh, money, money. So I wish I had this information. So I'm giving it to you, sonographers out there. So don't look at yourself like, oh my God, I'm just like lost. I wish I could just register with HCPC and then just be registered like no look at yourself like a special person you get to be part of the voluntary sonographer registry if you want to you get to take an msc course of a case msc course you you, you get to employ uh, um, apply directly to employers and be special and just so you know we're paid better than sonographers yeah yeah that is sinking so don't feel bad about yourself i know the first time i realized this i really felt bad like where, where I'm feeling like out of place, I don't belong and things like that. But don't feel bad, just, yeah, for study money. <laughs> Alright, bye and get back to work. Have a great day.